Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, it's no longer a secret. William Samuel Ruto has shown the Gadda Gajagwa a knife, and therefore, the biggest mistake will be William Ruto taking that knife back into the pocket. So, with that move, Gashagwa has no way to survive as a deputy president in this country. He is going to, to be impeached. And to prove this, look very careful on how the National Assembly is taking the issue of impeachment. Wetangola has decided that he is going to follow the law to the latter to make sure that no one will take this case in court and succeed after Gashagwa's impeachment. First of all, they have decided that it is a must they have to conduct a public participation. So the House business has been suspended to facilitate for the public participation on the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. What a fantasy idea. Pakamushu. <laughs> so on Thursday, they have set aside next week for public participation on the impeachment of Rigadi Thank you. Honorable members, I now propose the question that pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 28-4, which is calendar of the Assembly, this House resolved to suspend its sitting of Thursday, 3rd October 2024, so as to allow administrative arrangements necessary to facilitate the program of public participation on the special motion for the removal of, from office by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. It's the mood of the House that we should put the question? Okay. Okay. Honorable members, I now put the question that pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 28-4, Calendar of the Assembly, this House resolved to suspend its sittings of Thursday, 3rd October 2024, so as to allow administrative arrangements necessary to facilitate the program for public participation on the special motion for the removal from office of by impeachment of His Excellency Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Now, what Gashagwa has been left with is how to survive in this political turbulence that he is in today. Because he has ambition to be the president. And he still wishes to serve as a deputy president. So how will he survive this? Now that the impeachment is ahead of him. That is the word that Gashagwa has as of now. How will he survive? If we keep quiet and wait... He only have four members of parliament on his side. Then he can just win the wiper side because wiper is not in agreement with what ODM is doing. And I say ODM is in agreement with the impeachment. So you can have the wiper members and the other four who support him. They are not even 50. Not even 40. So he can't survive this impeachment. And therefore, what next for the Gadega Shakwa? For him to survive and eh, vie in the next election as a presidential candidate or a running mate to a presidential candidate. That is the question. And the thinking of some of Kenyans is that Gashagwa has just one option if you want to continue uh, to have a significant stake in our politics, resign. Or if not, wait to be sent into a political oblivion. As simple as that. And Kenny Mijongo was sharing his views on the same. His position is that Keshagwa has to resign. Though there is a case ahead of him, it has been well prepared. So, he has to make a decision to resign. And his prediction, Kenny Mijongo, is that by next week, somewhere there, or this week on Friday, Gashagwa might resign from office. 
and battle his case while he is outside. But I'm here to tell you how things are going to pan out in the next few days because Parliament, as you have seen, as it has been demonstrated today, it's going to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. It's happening next week on Tuesday. They're voting. They're impeaching him. The first deputy president to be impeached will be Rigadi Gashagwa. Netakuwa ikue funzo. Wale wengine wenye wakona ambitions kama za deputy president. But in the story na wachapia. So let's um, now talk about Rigadi's option now that the motion is before parliament. One, today is Tuesday. I see Rigadi resigning by Friday. Why? He has to protect, he has to self-preserve, he has to protect his ambitions because he's tested. He's tested the pie and he knows how sweet it is. So he'd want to be president someday. The only way he's going to be president is if he's still in the game. The only way to remain in the game for Rigadi Gashagwa is to resign. But will he? Because Ruto is not going to save him. Will he? Well, let's say he doesn't. Then, full process next week on Tuesday, he's impeached. Then, on Thursday, Speaker of the Senate, Amazon Jeff Akingi, receives the bill um, or the motion. And now, the process of validating what National Assembly had done begins. They'll even call for public participation in the form of memorandums and all that. Senate, take it from me, will impeach Rigadi Keshagwa. Because that's how it is. So, let's say that happens, right? What happens? He will never be eligible to run for any elective position in this country again, to hold a position. So that's why I'm saying that um, he has to resign. I'm giving him until Friday. He will resign. Then, what happens next? Because if he resigns, have you seen the petition? Inbox me, I'll send you the whole copy. Look at it. There are criminal charges. There are criminal charges against Rigadi Gashagwa. He'll be taken to court. If he resigns, they're taking him to court. On those criminal allegations, money laundering, um, abuse of office, using his office for personal gain, all those things, they are able to take him to court. They'll charge him. And still at the end of the process, what happens to a public officer who has been charged? So they'll take him to court. His only option is resign. But even if he resigns, he'll go to court. But now, as we continue with the final discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give the video a thumbs up. By the way, I haven't been that much active in the comment section. Just trying to resurrect this channel. <laughs> And we are really trying that. I told you I have a sick person that I'm taking care of. So I'm trying to balance this. If you don't see me in the comment section, kindly just understand. But I pray that I find time to be in the comment section. Because that's where we normally take our next discussion. Thank you so much. And back to our discussion. Now, it seems William Ruto was very clever at one point that he allowed Gashaga to make mistakes, then collect enough evidence to lay a serious, tight, watertight grounds for either his impeachment or a strong case in the court of law. Because now, you check the 11 um, issues raised on Gashagwa. There is the issue of criminal uh, charges. You know, when the National Assembly will sit, that sitting is an equivalent of a high court sitting. Same to the Senate. So, Gashagwa was trapped, in my view. When Ruto allowed him to succeed in corruption after taking over as a deputy president. 
We are about even some of the frozen accounts were given back to Gashagwa. The case was dropped. We are about the land next to the JKIA was 2 billion Kenyan shillings. We are about the repair of the um, office of the deputy president costing the taxpayer 600, and, 600 million yet putting up that property it costed the taxpayer 450 million. So, could the number of the it's not very hard, whether in court or in parliament. So the option Gashagwa has is to resign. But as he resign, the way Ken Mijong is putting it, he will have to battle the case in court. Because the next step after him resigning will be to take him to court on that criminal charges. So three years he will be in court busy battling this case. That's how clever William Ruto was and Gashagwa was too blind to see this. At least serve the people. Watch your officer. We have been subjected to highway robbery by the leadership of Kenya Kwanza. They have been looting, massive looting. So Gashagwa has an option to resign, which will give him chance to battle the case in court, but it will also require him to have enough money to battle this case. So he will resign, go back to his people, battle the case in court, and try to fight for sympathy. Then have a chance in the next election. So, to that extent, the only option Gashako has to survive politically and avoid the next election, realize his dream, ambitions, it is for him to resign. He allowed the impeachment to the end. He will not be legible to vie for any elective seat or serve in any public office in the near future in this country. Yeye atakuwa sawa na the former Nairobi governor, Mike Bovi Songo. Atakuwa sawa na the former Kiambu governor, Bupayao Waititu. Atakuwa hapa. So the only option, in as much we heard him saying that Anangoja kwa impeached, Yani unaigizwa tu kwa mtego, wewe unapeleka tu shingo. Unasema uingie ndani hata ikiisha iisha hivyo. Ukisha kuwa impeached. Hata ile ushawishi unakuanga nayo huwa inarudi chini. So it has some influence, but can it be the same before he was impeached? It can't be the same. Why is it no longer has influence? I can tell you Gashaga will have little influence because he will, he will not be um, granted a chance to buy for an elective seat. So people will be focusing on a person they can build and later serve in that higher office. So he has to make that very well informed decision either to resign go back to his people, battle the case in court, in case he win, better for him. But I can tell you, under this regime, it won't be easy for him to win that case. Alieka mitego state house, lakini naona mitego ni kame ya kumunasa kabla janasa mwingine. Satoka kujo kuinza anke kushia mamba ya state house secrets. Anke kutuambia hiyo. So, in my view, I want to agree with Ken Mejungu. Nishagwa, I'm a pangiwa, and he has no space to survive. He won't survive. He can resign and buy more time, battle the case in court, or wait for his impeachment to go home for good. Simple and clear. I don't know your views, but there's a chance 
We can continue this discussion through the comment section where I can also get your views and other viewers also can get your views.